Hey guys, player number one here, and today I'll be answering all your questions that you have about the Sony BDV N7200 home theatre system. But first, I'll just give you a little uh, tour of my setup. I've got the system there, and I've got the um, system plugged straight into the TV, and then everything else like my Xbox, and I've got HDMI there for the laptop or whatever, all straight into the TV, runs off the HDMI arc, so whatever input the TV's on it will just come out the sound system, no mucking around, no changing inputs on the sound system. Just as you can see, I don't know if you can see that. Oh, probably not. But it says TV. So yeah, whatever comes out of the TV, well, whatever input you want on the TV, any input will come out of the sound system with no mucking around with the sound system. And then I've got my front speaker there. Left, right. Rear left. Rear right down there with the wireless box. Now, most of you ask me, you know, how loud is the system? Well, actually, before that, we'll, uh, we'll start here. I'm actually going to go onto the uh, systems menu. Now, when you first uh, set your theatre system up, it will ask you to calibrate the speakers as in distance from, you know, you get, a, you get a microphone to calibrate how far the speakers are around the room. And that's okay, but if I can just find it, so where is it? So we go standard. And then the distance is there. Which you can see, all the distance means is how uh, loud the speakers, well, how loud Sony say the speakers should be, the distance that they are away from you. And when you calibrate, it will come up with this. And uh, as you can see, like, that says 3 dBs. And it's uh, 3 bars, when total could be 4 bars. And if I click that, I can go up to 6 dBs, right? That means the speaker's going to be given out its full potential. I've got it on 3 because, you know, I think when I, when I calibrated it was like 1 or something, so I turned it up. The front two again, they're, they're 1 each. I should turn them up, really, but I don't actually need to, and I'll, I'll explain to you later on why. Um, surround, as you know, as you just saw, they're pretty much right next to me where I sit, so that's fine. Got the subwoofer high though, because you know we all love that bass, and that's what you've all been asking me. Is it bassy? Does it thump? Well, yes it does. So if we come off here. Now, if you're just watching, you know, standard TV, like... ITV, BBC One, etc. It's which probably, well, I guess like soaps and stuff have been 5.1, but most TV is just stereo audio. But this sound system actually recreates 5.1 surround sound for stereo audio. So you have sound coming out all five speakers. Whereas on my old Sony uh, theatre system, it didn't do that. If it would only play 5.1, if the the uh, program or film I was watching was in 5.1. Now, if you watch films, movies, if the movie is in 5.1, then it is very loud. The system is very loud, and it is very bassy as well. Like, if there's explosions, you can feel it, you know what I mean? 
and uh, if the film, which there's not many, but like really old films that are only in stereo audio, you know, it does try its best, but it's not as good as if it tries its best to recreate the 5.1, and it's, it's all right, but obviously true 5.1, you can't beat it. But at least it tries, you know what I mean? At least, you know. And, uh, yeah, and then we want to go to music. Now, I haven't actually ever used the disc player on the system. I haven't put a Blu-ray in it or a music CD, because most people nowadays are all digital. We all use this, YouTube, right? <coughs> no. When you go on YouTube or your other digital music app or whatever it is you use, or even a CD, I guess, yeah? This is the, uh, I don't know if you have to see this, will you? It's too bright. It's not gonna focus. Well, anyway, there's a button here. You, you, you might be able to make it out, I don't know. This button here is clear audio. And this is the, um, the main setting if you will this is the this is the mode that will convert stereo into 5.1 as in so it comes out all five speakers instead of just two whatever and then you've got a button called sound field in the middle here and then there's other buttons like directly for a sound field you know like game music eq console blah 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 but you go sound field I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. There you can. So I click sound field, and as I said, that's clear audio. That's the main one for your TV and movies. And then you've got movie. I've actually never tried that, but, you know, I think movies is perfectly fine on the clear audio setting, but maybe it enhances something, I guess. And then we've got music. Now, I, that's, when you play music, let me go to this one first. So we've got digital music here, yeah? It's fucking dusty, isn't it? Digital music, right? And when you have that setting on playing your music, it only comes out the front left speaker, the front right speaker, and the subwoofer. It doesn't come out of the center speaker there, and it doesn't come out the the surround speakers either and if you can see this there is a gold ring around the tweeter there on the front left and on the front right there's no gold tweeter on that one and there's no gold tweeters on those ones over there I don't know why but anyway when you play music through the digital music setting Digital audio setting, what's it called? Digital music, isn't it? Yeah, digital music. It is... <laughs> if there's like an intro, it won't turn itself up. You could have it on 16, see there, yeah? You could have it on 16 and it will sound like it's still on the clear audio setting. But when you put the music on and say there's like a little intro that's not actually music yet, it won't do nothing. But as soon as it detects, as soon as the song starts playing, as soon as the system detects that, it turns itself up. Not volume wise, just the speakers go louder. And then it will still be on 16 so I can turn it up to, I think it goes up to 34. I can turn it up to 34. And I'm telling you, it thumps. It absolutely thumps. I would, I would love to give you a demo, but YouTube wouldn't let me put a song on in a video. So, but anyway, if you if you're gonna have parties or you're just worried uh, the music's not gonna be very loud and you might have to go buy a hi-fi system or something like that, do you do not? This doubles up as a fucking sound system as well. Yeah. As I said, the digital music setting thumps. Those two speakers are so loud. And the bass as well. It's extremely loud. Puts cracks in the walls. Um, what else? 
Well, I think that's pretty much it, to be honest. If there's anything else you want to know, just uh, holler. And as always, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Peace.